Hello everyone, this is Chitra. Today we are here to learn about one of the uninformed search, depth first search. This depth first search is an algorithm used for searching or traversing of elements in a group of data or a tree. In this algorithm, elements start traversing from root node and explores every node as depth as possible before following the backtracking principle to reach its goal or destination. Hello everyone, I am Dilip. Today I am here to explain the depth first search algorithm and it, here it follows. Step 1. Start by putting any of the graph vertices on the top of the stack and this, this will be our initial node. Second step is take the top item from the stack and add it to the visitor list. And the third step is create the list of vertex adjacent one and add the ones which aren't in the visitor list to the top of the stack. And our last step is repeat the steps 2 and 3 till the stack is empty and here it will, we will reach the goal node. Hello everyone, I am Tarun. Today let us take an example of depth first search. Here I am taking this graph as an example. In this graph our initial node is Chennai and our goal node is Mumbai. In depth first search we use stack operations. In stack we will have two operations push and pop and we will use last in first out. In stack here our initial node is Chennai. We will push the Chennai into the stack and for Chennai there will be two adjacent nodes Punjab and Delhi. First we will push Punjab into the stack and then Delhi. Before we push Delhi and Punjab into the stack we will pop the Chennai. After Chennai popping, we will pop the Delhi because Delhi is in the top of the stack. So we will pop the Delhi. The adjacent nodes of Delhi are Kolkata and Goa. First we will push the Goa into the stack and then Kolkata. Then Kolkata will be in the top of the stack. So, so we will pop the Kolkata and it will be in the visited list. After Kolkata, there will be only one adjacent node which is Madhya Pradesh. So we will push Madhya Pradesh into the top of the stack. And then the top of the element which is Madhya Pradesh will be popped out of the stack. After Madhya Pradesh, we will backtrack. So by using backtracking, it will be Goa will be in the top of the stack. So Goa will be popped out. After Goa, we will again backtrack the nodes. So here we will be backtracking to the Punjab. Here Punjab will be in the top of the stack. So we will pop the Punjab. And the adjacent nodes of the Punjab are Kerala and Mumbai. First we will push the Mumbai into the stack and Kerala into the stack. After Kerala will be in the top of the stack. So Kerala will be popped out. After Kerala, we will be backtrack and we will move to Mumbai. Mumbai will be in the top of the stack. We will pop the Mumbai. And finally, our stack will be empty. And our initial node is Chennai and our goal node is Mumbai. So, we will visit all the nodes and we will reach with the goal node. Hello everyone, my name is M. Srishant. Let us see DFS implementation in Python. This is a sample graph. Chennai is the initial node, Goa is the goal node. Let us see how Python code implementation takes place. Let us consider the graph. Chennai has adjacent nodes Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata. Delhi has adjacent nodes Kolkata. Kolkata adjacent nodes Goa. Goa Mumbai has no adjacent nodes, they are empty. Let us consider the function if DFS visit graph node. We are considering visit data set to avoid duplicate nodes. We are considering the function DFS visit graph node. Here node is the initial node. And if, if node is not visited, we are printing the node. The node which are not visiting, we are printing that nodes. And visit dot add node, we are adding the nodes which are visited. And using recursive function for neighboring nodes in graph node, DFS visit graph neighbor. Same we are uh, we are writing rewriting the uh, function again. DFS instead of node, we are taking neighboring nodes to visit all neighboring nodes in the graph. At final, we will get the output. My output is Chennai, Delhi, Kolkata, Goa, Mumbai. Hello everyone, my name is Thoriti Soumya. I am here to say some of the important applications of DFS. Here we go. Applications of DFS. DFS is used in topological sorting. It is also used in network flow algorithms. DFS is used in subroutine, in matching algorithms, in graph theory. DFS is very useful to solve the maze or Sudoku problems.